Hey, this is Mrs. Reinkel, and in this next video we're going to go through and talk about the female uh, external genitalia of the reproductive system, so we'll go ahead and get started. So basically the external genitalia um, overall is called the vulva, um, that's kind of the general term that they use for it. Mons pubis is basically this region up here, um, it's a fatty area which also has um, uh, pubic hair as well. Labia are just skin folds, and we'll talk about the, the different types. The cli uh, clitoris is a region right in here. The urethral orifice as well as the vaginal orifice are just openings here. So those are those right there. Um, and then the greater vestibular glands are right in here, and they're just glands that help to secrete fluids. So the mons pubis is a fatty overlying, um, it's basically a fatty area that overlies the pubic symphysis. Um, so it's this area right here. Um, typically it's covered with pubic hair after the puberty onset because it's a uh, pubic hair, remember, is a secondary sex characteristic. A, the labia are skin folds, and there's actually two um, skin folds in the female external genitalia. So the first one is the labia majora. Um, basically, this is the outermost skin fold right in here, and then you have the um, labia minora, which is the, it's basically inside, it's another skin fold layer, which is right in here. Um, the difference between the two is this outer one, the majora one, um, or the labia major, um, basically is um, going to be covered with hair, uh, pubic hair, at the onset of puberty, whereas the inner one is not going to be covered in hair. The clitoris contains erectile tissue. Uh, the, it does function similarly to the uh, penis in that it's going to be hooded and it's also composed of sensitive erectile tissue as well. And then the perineum is a diamond shaped region right in here um, and it's going to basically be between the anterior and the posterior ends of the labial folds. And base, this basically, if you're going to get your CNA um, or you're going to CNA school, when they talk about the perineal region in a female, they're really talking about this area. Um, so if you're getting your CNA, you'll learn how to effectively um, clean that area if you're doing a sits bath or something like that. Um, so that's really the, the external genitalia of the female, and I hope you found that helpful.